to bring you this brand new bag review. Here is the beautiful Kipling Bina, and it is wonderful. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. The beautiful flowers that you see on this bag is a part of the Frida Kylo collaboration with Kipling. And I didn't know that I would want this bag so much. I've seen it in the store a few times, but I ended up purchasing it online because I got a great deal through Macy's. Y'all know Macy's has the sales. <laughs> when I received that bag from Macy's, I was underwhelmed because of the pattern placement that I got. So if you follow me on Instagram, I shared everything, <laughs> all of my woes with this bag, but finally I ended up with a beautiful, beautiful, lovely pattern placement that I am thrilled with. So let me bring it in closer so you all can see. Here's my absolute favorite flower and I'm just glad to have it. Even though it's kind of cut off at the bottom, I love it. I love it. And I love all the different colors that you see. Frida Kylo was a, a Mexican artist and her work is amazing. She is well known for her self portraits and I'm here for it. <laughs> I really am. This bag really fits the bill for me. You all know my style. I love a bag with top handles and this bag does have top handles. The top handles are so structured. I love it. They kind of stand up on their own, which is great because in comparison with the rest of the bag, it's kind of a more slouchier feel, a laid back feel, but I love it. I love this bag. <laughs> so we can see that there is the Kipling logo right up front and it is in gunmetal. It is, yeah, kind of like hard plated. It's really, really nicely done. I just love how Kipling has been doing their logos lately. It just depends on the style of the bag for how they want their logo to appear. I love this. <laughs> and of course, y'all know I love the little key charm on here. This is how it looks on the front. And then on the back, it just says Kipling, Frida Kylo. I love this. I love when Kipling changes out their fluffy monkeys or those those rubber monkeys or even the metal monkeys and gives something different because it makes it special. It makes it unique and kind of like a treasure, you know? I love this. <laughs> so let me take you around. There are no outside pockets on this beauty. And the pattern is gorgeous. Just lovely. I am enjoying the black background because that means this bag is going to pair well with so many outfits. I can pretty much wear this with anything I'm wearing and it will look good. It will pop really nicely. The way that it opens, it has a chunky zipper, which Kipling is known for. And there are double zippers. I love this. Now I find, because I've had this bag for a couple of weeks now, I find that I don't really put the double zippers in the middle. I think that's how it's pictured on the website, but I prefer to have them either on the right or on the left. It just depends on my mood and how I'm zipping the bag, how I'm carrying the bag. If I'm carrying it top handle, I notice I might zip it a different way. If it's crossbody, which look at this strap, you guys. This strap is top notch Kipling. <laughs> Because a lot of times Kipling uses, especially in their black bags, the faded look of the black strap. 
This is a tighter weave of the strap, which makes it a lot more structured and just a joy. It just elevates the way that the bag looks and the way that your eye sees it. It looks fantastic. <laughs> so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip it. And this is what it looks like inside. I tried my best to go ahead and pack my bag with Kipling items since this is a Kipling bag. However, I must say, y'all know I love little sports sack, so I do have one little little sports sack goodie in here that I cannot live without. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull out the first item I have, and this is the cute little Kipling banana. You guys have seen this before. I decided to hang my keys from it. I love this. Now, I don't usually use it often because honestly, I usually attach my keys to my Kipling Mini Creativity, which I also have inside. But this bag, because there are little tiny monkeys hidden in the pattern, I have one right here. I thought it would be very fitting to go ahead and add a little banana inside. It's a cute little banana pouch. It has the traditional Kipling zipper, so it zips super easily. And I just have my earbuds, mine and my husband. He has got me carrying his stuff all the time now. <laughs> and then I've got my little earbuds for my phone. And I just keep this zipped up in this cute little banana and it's so cute. <laughs> I think it looks so good with the bag as well. So that's the first item that I have inside. Next, I have my mini creativity. It says, you are golden. This serves as my wallets by Kipling. So I try my best to keep, little, you know, the Kipling thing. I keep my credit cards and other little cards in there. And I usually attach my keys to this. So that's why I said this really, a lot of times the items that are in here are in my other pouch, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Next, I have this beautiful Kipling Gardenia. This is another Kipling pouch. I did have the little fluffy monkey attached, but I guess I took it off. <laughs> Does say Kipling on the back here. There's a beautiful cherry little motif on the front. I just love the sparkle of the sequins and it's embroidered right here with the leaf. And speaking of embroidery, I love when Kipling does this. On the You Are Golden, the golden is also embroidered as well as the stars. I just love when Kipling does embroidery because they do it so well. All right, and speaking of embroidery, how could I forget this? When you first glance on this bag, it looks like it's embroidered. However, it's not. It's just the way that the pattern is on the bag. And I just thought that was genius. Just lovely. This flower in particular and this one, the leaves to me look embroidered, but it's not. So it's a super nice welcome surprise because it just shows the artistry, right? <laughs> All right, and last but not least, is it last? Nope, not last y'all. I have my <laughs> La Sports Sack Square Cosmetic and this is just so colorful. You all have seen this pouch as well. It is by also an artist um, named Gaku and he is based out of Japan. He has autism and so I love to support. I just love it and I need La Sportsac to bring back these cute little square cosmetic pouches because last I looked on their website they were not there so <laughs> I need more colors. I need more colors. I need everything, y'all, because I love this. It carries all my little odds and ends. So those are the types of things I have in there. And like I said earlier, this is really not necessary for me to carry because the items that are in here can absolutely fit in here with room to spare. I just wanted to pair this cute little Kipling banana with this purse. <laughs> it's just something I wanted to do. Next, I have my pin inside this little pin protector. I've got my phone in here. And now let me show you the beautiful interior of this bag. Look at that blue. This is beautiful. I was reading somewhere that in Frida Kylo's home, she had blue inside on the walls. And so I'm thinking that this is what that mirrors. Inside you do have two pin slots and a slip, which I don't use because the bag is so short that the pins kind of stick up where the zipper is and makes it a little difficult to zip close. 
So I just put my pen in this little pouch here and keep it moving, <laughs> but that's how that looks. And then on the back wall, there's a privacy zip pocket with the tag that says Kipling Frida Kylo. And underneath you've got that little Kipling little symbol there. And inside the pocket, I've got my personal effects. I've got a little bit of cash, some coupons, and I've got this tag here. So on the tag, the bag says Bina Frida Cayo Floro. That's the print. It was $124. However, like I told you, I got it on sale at Macy's, I believe for $74. And then I noticed two weeks later, they had their lowest price of the season sale and it was 60 something dollars. So always check Macy's for sales and then check back a couple of weeks later because sometimes they have even better sales. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything back in my purse and give you all the pros and the cons. <laughs> So one of the pros, of course, is the size of this bag. The size of this bag is just perfection. I love the size. I also, you know, didn't even realize that I would love the kind of slouchiness of it. It allows you to be able to always pack one more item <laughs> inside your bag. And y'all know I love that. I love being able to pack one more item. I also love the color. The colors to me scream fall. I have been wearing this, I want to say off and on since I've got it because I've got a big deep problem. I'm always switching my bags, but I'm always coming back to this one. And I love that. Underneath, there are no feet, which Kipling <laughs> doesn't really need feet because they've got this beautiful nylon fabrication that they use. And this is top notch top notch nylon i can tell that they used it is a bit recycled i think they have some percentage where ooh, i think it's 30 percent recycled and then 70 percent nylon whatever it is it works it works well done kipling <laughs> absolute great job the top handles are of course a pro a super plus I love that. And I also love the placement of this. It's kind of like a heavy, heavier charm, but the placement of it, because I do have another bag with a collaboration that Kipling did for hmm, Butterfly Quilt. And that was the Anna Sui collaboration. That also had a metal piece just like this. It had a butterfly on it, absolutely gorgeous. But the butterfly kept banging up against the zippers because they were really close. I like how the zippers can be out of the way. So I can put the zippers in the middle, off to the side. Even if they're close to the keychain, it doesn't bang up against it. So when you're carrying the bag, it's a quiet carry. <laughs> Very quiet carry. Love the adjustment of the strap. I love the width of the strap. It's beautiful. Now for the cons. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think I have a con. <laughs> I'd have to really think. Hmm. There is one thing. I did snag the handle right here. I believe the other day with my ring. You're probably not going to be able to tell. I guess that's not really even a con, y'all. Honestly, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> grabbing at straws. I don't have any cons. This bag is perfect. It, it wears well, it keeps clean, and it looks amazing when you wear it. I highly, 10 out of 10, recommend this beauty, okay? If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want to say a super special thank you to you. I do go ahead and post a lot of the items that you all see me make videos for on my Poshmark. And I want to thank you all for purchasing those items. I've been making quite a few sales lately. So thank you so much. Grace and peace, everyone. Bye.